हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइंड एंड एंजॉइंग योर स्टडीज एट द मोमेंट सो लेट्स सॉल्व वन मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम लपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म आई ऑलरेडी हैव अ प्लेलिस्ट ऑन लपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म सो इफ यू आर नॉट अवेयर ऑफ दैट डू गो एंड वॉच दैट प्ले लिस्ट फॉर मोर प्रॉब्लम ऑन लपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म मीन वाई लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद दिस क्वेश्चन सो वी हैव टू फाइंड लपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ e power minus t which is multiplied by 0 to t and inside that integral i have sin t by t so a mix of uh, i can see 1 2 n 3 properties are being used together to get this laplace transform apart from a formula okay so let's jump into this question uh, it's a beautiful one so first of all uh, the property which you are using is laplace of sin at and the formula says that we will get a divided by s square plus a square so a Divided by s square plus a square. So if we follow this trend, now in this question, uh, how will we approach? We'll start from the innermost thing and try to generate the Laplace transform. Okay. So we'll start from sine t, then divide by t, then apply property for integral, then the first shift. and finally we'll reach to what we desire okay so to begin with first of all i'll find the laplace transform of sin t so if i use this formula a here is 1 so i will write this as 1 divided by s square plus 1 square which is 1 next step this was the first step next step as you can see they are dividing it by t so what the property of division by t says to you that if you are dividing by 1t so if laplace of f of t is let's say f bar s so if you are multiplying these are all property which i am writing on the right hand side so if you are multiplying sorry dividing by 1t so if you are wanting if you want to find the laplace transform f of t divided by t so you don't have to think much you have to just integrate whatever was the laplace transform of f of t from s to infinity f bar s because that was a function of s so this will be s. fine so let's uh, do that so if you want to find laplace of sin t divided by t then you already know laplace transform of sin t that is only the f bar s now just integrate whatever you got on the right hand side of the previous step from s to infinity what will be our integrand 1 upon s square plus 1 ds so this you will get is integral of 1 upon s square plus 1 this is same as integral of 1 upon x square plus a square from uh, x square plus a square so that uh, gives you 1 by a So one by one, that is one only. Tan inverse s by a will be there. So s by one. So again, tan inverse s only. Okay. Now what you have to do is just move this from s to infinity. So when you will put infinity, you will get tan inverse infinity, which you all know ever since your childhood that that is pi by two. And minus tan inverse of s. 
सो दिस विल गिव यू पाई बाय टू माइनस टेन इनवर्स ऑफ एस फाइन वट वी हैव टू डू इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप सो यू ऑल नो वन मोर थिंग दैट टेन इनवर्स एक्स प्लस कॉट इनवर्स एक्स इज पाई बाई टू सो इफ आई फर्दर वन टू सिंप्लीफाई दिस आई कैन ऑलवेज राइट दिस एज कॉट इनवर्स एस टू बी ऑन अ सिंपलर साइड ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट we have already done two thing we have first find laplace of sin t then sin t by t further what you can see moving from right to left you can see they have integrated from 0 to 2 so you do you also do the same thing so laplace of uh what is the property there so if you are integrating once the laplace of integral From zero to t, f of t dt. What they do? They just divide whatever you got in the previous step by s. If you are integrating once, divide by one s. If you are integrating once more, that means double integral, then divide by s square and s cube and so. so because we are integrating just once so laplace transform of integral of integral from 0 to t integral of what integral of sin t by t dt will be f bar s that means whatever laplace transform you got in the previous step that means they are talking of this let's highlight this so they are basically talking of this cot inverse s okay so if they are talking of cot inverse s so only thing we have to do is cot inverse s divide that by s what will be the next step next step will is as i can see is they are multiplied by e power minus t so if laplace of f of t is f by t the laplace of e power at multiplied by f of t if they are multiplying by e power at just do one thing replace this s by s minus a and if it says that they are multiplying by e power minus at it comes from the same uh, one just replace a by minus a so that will become f bar s my s plus a in that case okay so if i want to do that in the same step because everything will be there in this single page so laplace of what i am doing multiplying by e power minus t and whatever remains i have already calculated so 0 to t sin t by t dt will be what is uh, what you have got in the previous step again time to highlight you have got this in your previous step okay so in that only just replace wherever you see s replace that by s plus 1 because we have e power minus at case okay so in place of a you have minus 1 so s minus minus 1 so s plus 1 so wherever you see s simply replace that by s plus 1 so finally what we are getting is cot inverse s plus 1 divided by s plus 1 s was there at two positions inside cos and also in denominator 
so i both the places i replace that by s plus 1 okay fine so that's it uh two to three property and a formula got us the answer so i hope you enjoyed this again uh, these are just a game of properties that's why i love just the basics i'm talking what not going complex these are easy question to solve once you know the property and formulas so that's it from my side do watch the playlist on uh, laplace transform as well for more such interesting problem and do share this video with your friends and do challenge them on this question thanks again